We'll it's go pre main cards. The interim championship, the unification. Been, uh, of course, last week Saradi was unavailable, so Krema won the card and now has been waiting a week. Practicing against Milia. Maybe against Addiction. It's a very good Spanish Milia. Let's see what Krema can do, but Sorani has been an uncontested queen for uh, two, three weeks, I believe. So uh, it's not going to be an easy challenge here for Krema. It's going to be tricky. Both characters kind of have the whole glass cannon aesthetic. Uh, but I think their speed and their like jumps are so different. That's different as well. You shouldn't even be allowed to do that. I'm sure that's banned in a couple of states in America. That's not okay. Stayed in the corner like that. Grand Theft. And he's going to die from that. He actually didn't get to play the game from that from that corner steal. Yeah, uh, it's it's Milia. Milia players will say she is bad, but she has some of the most stupid normals in the game. Like, I was talking with Lazarus and we spent like 13 minutes highlighting her normals. Oh, there's another one. Getting a counter hit into the... Uh, for wall break while assault as well to get the heart knocked down. Give the mix on wake up. Oh, the 6H gets neutralized by the DP from Krema. And just like that, equalizing the set. This could be a big strength actually for Chip in this matchup that your opponent actually dies just as fast as you. Yeah, Oof. absolutely. Oh. oh my gosh, the whiff punish on the 5k. We take those. Speaking of 5k's, Ryan going to show her one. Uh, but yeah, both these characters. You don't get to see it too often. It's normally one of them up against like a normal health character. Uh, I, I like to call them the uh, the brittle bullies because they're so good at just overwhelming you with buttons, making you feel like you don't want to play this game anymore. But one or two hits and they kind of, you know, they back away and they leave you alone. They leave you alone for the most part. Uh, but I feel because Chip has the DP, you're going to have to let that rip and just you know, kind of weigh up the options because Midi is not really going to like two touch you, even if you're Chip. She's not really going to two touch you. But it's the, can I guess correctly in the next two attempts? I think uh, that's a very fair assessment. Oof. All the burst has been used for Krema for this combo. And uh, still going forward though, good stuff. Keeping the corner as well. Oh my God, but the Mirage through the Rekka from Sorani, very smart option there, the fast fall again, mixing Krema up, and just like that we are even on HP, burst will be available for Krema, but not going to be bursting this super, the bait extended, oh my god, that was masterful from Sorani, every single step of the combo was unburstable. That was, yeah, character mastery, you said it, and I can't do any better, no top trumps here, but it's not over yet, Krema, my Gosh, wall to wall combos here. The president going in. Yet yeah, the low trying to jump away from the elbow. That's that's pre plus. Gonna have to respect that. Oh my gosh, Reggie! Damn. All right, Krema. Dash a back dash. BRC overhead. Krema catching uh, Sorani flinching. Oh my god, good block, but the uh, double side switch opening Krema up or the back dash a little bit. Uh, too slow, get caught by the haircut once again. Sorani gets a tag that is meter available. One more touch should be enough. The back one is a bit too far. And Krema is a save that FD actually working out to his favor. Oh. 100%. FD did save his life from losing it in the corner, but got back to mid screen and Sorani's pressure just did not give up. Doesn't matter where you are, back to the wall, mid screen. She's going to chase you down. She's got the character to do it. The speed is there. Like we said, both characters are quite, uh, pretty quick, right? They're pixie characters, really nimble. But I think the the jump arcs that they have are vastly different. And that kind of determines which one's better at chasing, which one's running away. I think Chip's angles are, easy, uh, are better for trying to escape pressure. While Millie's is so like rigid and kind of like blocky that she's always going to use her jump or IEDs to get closer to you. Yeah, just as we see right there, like she's always on the hunt. She's an assassin after all. Once again, the Mirage, but uh, not able to convert to anything. The delayed disc catching Krem off guard, however. Same side, good block. Once again, the Mirage. And uh, so I'm a little bit too happy maybe to throw the Mirage out there. So maybe we'll see Krem trying to play around it. 
But at the moment, oh, double right. fast ball oh. getting mixed, and then the wall break. Another one. Jesus. <laughs> Bro. He did double TK Mirage. That is. That's a slight violation. That's actually a slight violation. I wish Rush was here. Rush would have some choice words to say. And Can't do the Spanish like that. Spanish, probably <laughs> going to be hit even harder. There's a burst from Crema, beautiful air throw as well. Stuffing out the Capel, sending in the clone. Oh, trying to play footsies again. The Mirage, Sorani. Looks like they are throwing out the Mirage and always catching Crema. Pressing a button. The staircase just enough. And it's a bad moon, a bad night for Crema. As they are immediately three games down. Sorani is starting off really, really strongly. Yeah, I, I'm not sure because I don't play Chip if that Mirage is like a knowledge check or if it's guaranteed. Because I know against Leo, it's actually guaranteed. He can't do his like reverse beat. He's H less into S. She can always Mirage and she will always get behind you. It's so broken. I never told people when I played because it's so cheap. But I don't know if it's like, it feels like it's like frame one or two in vault. It's a crazy move. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if Chip can do anything to stop that. Because, like we've seen, Sarani's been using that, almost abusing it any time Kremo goes for, like, I don't even know he's going for frame traps. I think he's just doing legit, like, pressure strings. And, yeah, Sarani just gets out with a Mirage. Yeah, I need to I need to be more, like, attentive about the uh, where Sarani is going for a Mirage. Once again, though, Bad Moon does not connect. The trade going nowhere. Kremo with, uh, once again, the life deficit. The hair car takes the back dash yet again, and this is going to be yet another round. Appel to close it off. Sorani with the round lead. Kremo has taken one round, I think, in this set, and unfortunately has not been able to uh, do any better. Ooh, there's the throw after the disc. Sorani, 6k, good defense. The 6h, but the disc delayed. Catches Kremo, but once again, good Abare this time. The side switch is good, but. Oh my god, look at the Capel movement as well. Oh. It's crazy because I saw the uh, the cross up with Chip and I was like, if he wasn't against Amelia, I'd probably think that's really quick. But Amelia's left right is so much more potent than Chip's. Goes for the burst there. I'd like to see some more DPs from Crema, but it might have to be in the next game. I think he's thrown one out. He got baited and he's just decided not to do him anymore. But you you have to, man. I, it's a lot harder. Granted, it's easy for me to say because I play Leo. I've got a flash kick, so the whole left right stuff doesn't bother me. I see that cross up Mirage in the corner. I'm like, that's not going to stop me from doing my reversal. But with Chip, it kind of does, right? You've got to reverse your inputs and stuff. So I think you have to try and DP the uh, Sarani's pressure. I think you just have to go for it sometimes. The scary fact, I think, is that so much of conventional melee relies on, on left rights, but Sarani isn't relying on that at all. But mm. a part of that is also that uh, Sarani is just throwing out so many hair cards, and Krem unfortunately is getting tagged pretty much by all of them. Counter hit, backdash, or just raw. It, it's a little bit unfortunate. Maybe Krem is a little bit overzealous, so try to close the gap. And that is what you need to do, honestly, in this matchup. But yeah, okay, finally blocking the haircut, mm -hmm. but then the first just behind it. A little bit unfortunate there, but ooh, getting a tag as well. Looking a little bit better for Krem against the air to air. Now you have to be careful with the Mirage in the corner. Nice stuff. Ooh. Yeah, get some damage off that counter hit. Yeah, tumble stay. Oh, delay. That was so sick. And that's kind of one of those mixes where it's not about the, the left, right. It's not about the block. It's about, I'm trying to bait you to press the button. And Kremer got exactly what he wanted for. Okay, not what he wanted now, though. I think a wall broken. Hard knockdown. Sarani dashes up and immediately puts Chip in the corner. Again, the haircut. And again, it's going to hit. Confirm into the winger. That's enough damage. Jesus, it is. Sarani with a perfect. Taking us to a game number three. Crema, round number three, excuse me. Crema suffering a lot. The onslaught of the Greek player. But there's a good knockdown. J2K. Oh, the Mirage through the clone. That was pre I think it is preemptive. Like, I think mm -hmm. it, it's against the pressure strings, which, yeah, will definitely. 
not to uh, leave Kemo happy. Good block so far. Gets the counter hit. Oh, BRC. Oh, he, I think he went for the overhead. He's doing it for the uh, the great raid from Sharon. 184 Spanish players here to power up their guy. Oh, let's oh it worked. It worked. Damn. Zenkai boost. <laughs> the raid actually powering Crema up. Welcome everyone from from Sharon's stream. Be sure to uh, drop your Spanish copy pastas in the chat. Uh, yeah, the Spanish copy pasta game is on another level. Like, yeah, now it's too good. It's too good. They need it now. I think that's what happened. I think uh, Kremlin went. Oh, the homies are watching. I can't lose. I can't lose. So he gets a game. It's at four one, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Winnable. First to seven. It's, it's still winnable. Like, it was four games then. It's three games now. So, Krama just needs to uh, believe. There's the knockdown. To the, uh, trying to stagger the Rekka pressure. Oh, but there's a grab. And this is where the blender starts. Left, right is good. Sarani laying off another one. The fastball, same side. There's the DP, as you said. You have to let it rip sometimes. Let him know. Oh, jumps over the S's. Closest, not here in airborne. Rare footage. Nice defensive throw. Throws a mid-screen though, but you know what? It's not too bad. And you saw the Mirage. Didn't work. He's believing. He's understanding. He's got the group power up. The copy pass is actually making him stronger. Oh, oh and there's the command jump. <laughs> Just take the throw. Just take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the compare! Oh, the bait on the DP. Sorani immediately aware. Just like that. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of damage. Yes. Taking away 60% of. Uh, ooh, okay, but there's a DP still going to be throwing it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, Renzi. I'm, I'm messing up your commentary. I just had to. Oh! Another one. Uh, oh, mix. YRC putting chip in the corner! I'm trying to go for it again! Don't burst Crema, please! Okay, okay. Don't stop. The DPs are making Sarani a little bit hesitant. I'm a fan. Oh, double Mirage? Maybe not. Maybe they're uh, not getting in their head as much as I thought they were. <laughs> oh my god. And again. Sarani going low. Fast fall. Oh, damn. It's, it's, it. What, why does she get the pickup? Oh, my God. This combo. Winger. Getting the wall break. Very good conversion. Sarani now dashes up. Oh, catches oh. the package again with 6 HDK Pat Moon. Krabba holding on in the corner. The last shaker. The killing blow. Krabba not keeping up that FD. <sighs> I know, I know the result doesn't kind of defend what I was saying, but I think the DPs worked. I think they worked. Uh, they changed the pace of the match, for sure. More than what we've seen prior, where we've seen him get back dash and like you said earlier, getting clipped by Haircar. He's got really good blocks and bad moon. He's blocked a lot of the bad moons, to be fair, to Crema, but it's what comes after is the issue. And he might do one or two good initial blocks, but the pressure for Sharani, she, she just doesn't let up. Yep. And of course, frame one. Oh, good jump away from Krema. But there's the hair card to uh, end it. 6k. Good burst from Krema here. Ooh, good with punish as well. On the disc. Cross Alpha Blade is blocked. G2K is not, though. And just like that, Krema putting Sharani in the corner, but we bang dash and we grab. And we will kill. I the charge just in case Sarani yet again on the charge I want to ah. say that Sarani was being really toxic by doing the 5D so he could show Kremer the crown and say you can't have it it's mine <laughs> but I don't think Sarani would be like that I don't know. oh I don't know. the fast fall interrupted Mirage out of the corner one more mix will be enough Roman cancel no meter available, but just yet. Beautiful JP is on the rising, but oh, Sarani trying to bait something out. Right again, jumping piece from Krema. To carry all the way to the corner. Meter is available, that it is spent. 
Six-inch <laughs> counter hit, no burst is spent. Oh no, Kremon not able to kill. Burst is Good used. Oh. The low block, the challenge, Kremon. Same side. Yo! Oh, ninja mix. Let's go. That was really good. Going same side with the J2K to the immediate cross up. Immediate burst as well. Kremon. Starting to believe yet again. Same side. Torani is opened up. Wall break with the 6H. Damage. On the defensive. Beautiful stagger though. On the 2K. And the mix. All goes low yet again. The fast fall. Opening Krema up. Burst will be available though. As will two bars of meter. Krema it is do or die. Oh, I want to say they were maybe holding up. It wasn't counting here. I think they were just trying to escape. It did not work. But again, I definitely think Kremer's gaining headway. The challenges on the turbo, the turbo's fast fall, that's what you need to establish. Because the first time, Sarani did one, and then we saw the double, and I was saying, that's the violation. Don't ever let Sarani do that to you again. And now, Kremer's play, uh, pressing 2K to stop all of that stuff. So I kind of like it. I guess you have to... You have to do some damage calcs in your head real quick to be like, can I afford to take a counter hit in this situation? That's what it comes down to. Do I challenge and risk the counter hit or do I infinitely block and never get a chance to play? Yeah, that's uh, an interesting question for for Krema, but since you're playing chip, you don't really have a lot of uh, of wrong guesses. Although this mm -hmm. time it was definitely a good one, the clash. And then the follow-up favoring the Spaniard, but just like that, Sarani runs a circle around the chip, and we are out of the corner. Damn, the close slash does everything. Switches sides, breaks the wall. Now, once again, the far slash. I think that's there. No, there. Use the wild assault to uh, minimize the damage. Prove me wrong. Here, come once again. There's a DP from Krema. One part of tension is available. Fast RC to the overhead. Sarani on that point. Oh, okay. 2K in the hair car. Interesting option. Why it works. Let me take that. Oh my gosh. That's tech. That's techers, Retsu. That's the second time we've seen that. Oh, throwing the air. Oh, six moves. Eat chip there. Oh my god. Another. Uh, bad Moon does not connect. There's the wreck out, the conversion from Krama, getting all the way to the corner. Giving Krama the life lead now. Super wall break, no wild assault. Still a hard knockdown, still a good situation. One more guess. The 5D is good, and Krama will postpone the festivities. Sarani. Still on set point, but dropping around. And the four thinking from Krama there. Ending with wild assault, not only for the hard knockdown, it's because the next hit, Sarani couldn't burst from it. Really smart stuff there. But can he make it count? Because he needs to get one more round win to not go to Brazil. It's Rani. Thomas Cooks right now trying to send their friend on a holiday and it's bad mood and that should be the end. Are we going to see the super? Yeah. And that is a 7-1. I definitely want to echo again that Kremer was definitely changing up the match. There was opportunities where they could have got some more on the board. Unfortunately, that's the reason Sarani's got 